Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, hope you're well. It's episode 16 of our Sporting Save today um, and we're just getting to that nitty gritty business end of the season where every result really does start to matter. As you can see, we've got the new kit on um, whilst I'm sat here uh, and we've also got those in-game. Uh, it's very kindly been put together by FM Kit Creator um, who you can find over on Instagram and details will be in the description below. Um, Scott mentioned last time, I think he's put some sort of unique sort of concept kits are over for for the Woodthorpe Park so but but these are the real ones that you know the one I've got on um, but let's get right into it I'll see you over there here we are then guys as you can see new kits uh, well and truly in the game just a little uh, sort of I suppose quality of life improvement now that we've got the got the new one that I'll be wearing you know on camera nice to have them in there so uh, thanks to FM Kit Creator for that do head over and, and check his account out he'll uh, he'll, he'll not pretty much anything anything you want up for him and it can give your game just that extra little bit of uh, of realism or sort of creativity if you if you want to do something a little bit different anyway um, on to our save now last time out we had that double header didn't we on on the channel. Uh, picked up the six points against Darlington and Hitchin and as you can see we've pretty much continued the, the decent form um, this one was disappointing obviously Halifax were um, the better side from, from a quality point of view but I think I have to take a little bit of responsibility we did try to to do something a little bit different um, and perhaps change things around too much in the game to, to try and react I mean you can see from the goal times that I mean it was nil nil at half time so it was a decent first half performance so they dominated but we kept we kept solid and we kept them from creating any real clear cut chances but in the end um it, it, the, the quality told they went one up earlier i wouldn't ever want them to go one up but earlier than i would have liked in that second half and then really before we had a chance to react they hit us with two in two minutes um and that that killed the game really if we could have just held the one nil changed things up you know, maybe maybe push for a goal back and sort of gone gone for it, um, but but those those sort of two or three minutes just just wiped us out. So it was a sad way to go out, but it was further than than the, you know the board expected us to get by a distance, and, and we picked up a decent sort of few thousand here and there for uh, for being in there. So that's just one of those things. Um, Gateshead were in town, and if you remember, Gateshead was one of the was it the first game of the season? It was the first one we put on the channel, didn't it? And we, and we beat them. Um, and they, they were sort of one up there with one of the favourites. Well, we've done the double over them, guys. It's one nil. Um, it was a late goal. It's a tight, scrappy affair, um, and it, and it was Jason Cowley that seems, as you'll see in just a second, to have found a little bit of form. He got the winner against Hitchin. Um, he got the winner against Gateshead, and it seems to be that he's popping up with those important goals again. Now, next was Hereford, uh, which was a good one. Obviously, not really recognised in the game, but in real life. It's fairly local um, they're a big side that have had a similar story to us if not sort of like a higher up equivalent of being a, a sort of a bit of a phoenix club um, and we put them to the sword really um, obviously we'd been in good form before this with the, with the change in tactics and I was a little bit worried that getting sort of turned over in the in the in the trophy might uh, might might unsettle us a little bit but it didn't seem to um, <laughs> oddly for a 5-2 uh, only the one goal in the first half and that was no own goal uh, after 27 minutes happy with that one little half time and then we just ran riot Cowley with uh, with a hat trick in, in sort of 15-20 minutes uh, Kachosa getting one as well they bagged two back very very quickly look 71 and 72 um, which made it which made it 3-2 so there was a little wobble um, from 3-0 up and I, I did think you've, you would have all seen it on, on FM before where you just feel helpless there's nothing you can do it was too early to start sitting back and try and hold on when the momentum was all them but luckily three minutes after they got their second Cowley popped up to restore that two goal cushion and then Kachosa got involved as well to, to kill it off so hat trick for, for Cowley now this next game was an odd one because this was one where we were we were that we were in the ascendancy. Um, you can see we went two 0 down inside half an hour, uh, and I was really annoyed because after these games where we played so well and we kept it sort of really solid against Gateshead and Hitchin, and then 
we, we battered Hereford Bar that sort of lapsed in concentration to go 2-0 down within within 30 minutes wasn't wasn't what I wanted at all um, I suppose it's this this earlier form I don't know if I'm lacking a bit of confidence but every time we we wobble a little bit I start to think is this is it turning again anyway um, Kachosa got us got us one back no sorry I'm lying I'm trying to remember this game properly it was so so chaotic we were 3-0 down Obviously, in the second half, we were pushing to get back into the game. They made it 3-0. A minute later, Kachosa just got one back, and there was still time. Um, Cowley added to it to make it 3-2, and we were pushing and pushing and pushing, and finally, in the 87th minute, Cowley got the equaliser three each, and you're thinking, it was that it was that dilemma, do I go for it now and try and push, thinking, well, we've lost the game anyway, is this three points gained? Or do we settle for the draw 3-0 down? Um Either way, so disappointing to then concede in the 91st minute and lose the game. I wasn't happy at all um, to to come from three 0 down and then lose the game is uh, is shocking. I think I had to I think I had to take a break from playing after that. It was a really really frustrating um, a really frustrating game to put all that effort in to come away with nothing. But it, it's good signs in hindsight, I suppose. Guysley, they did us last time, didn't they? Thankfully, it wasn't uh, what was his name, Kane Felix, was it? Um, yeah, they it turned us over last time, but um, yeah. So in the way that we got got the got the hoodoo over Gateshead, they seem to Geisley seem to be the ones that um, even when we come back from three 0 down, still find a way to beat us. Anyway, we move on. Um, Chorley was a tough one. They're favourites for the league, I think. They're certainly leading the leading the way. Yeah. Um, so. After that loss, it was a case of we went in with some confidence because, as I say, we did so show some character and some quality uh, and held them to a nil-nil draw, which, to be honest, I was okay with. When you were thinking back to to this sort of area where we were, I was happy with a nil-nil against um, a team that have not run away with with the league, but them and Kings Lynn, Kidderminster Harriers are holding on, but they're they're certainly the the clear leaders. Um, so we kept it tight, and as you can see from there then on. We really, really got got tighter at the back. Kettering Town, uh, five nil win. I mean, you can't ask for more. Um, and again, all in the second half. Look, didn't start the start um, start the scoring until the sixty seventh minute, and we've bagged four more goals between then. You know, in the last sort of twenty minutes. Cowley with another two. Kachosa, as you you've seen his name pop up a few times. He's just starting to pop up with those late goals. I don't know if it's the fact that he's you know big physical sort of specimen that he's. Um, taking advantage of those tired legs in the box and, and things like that, but uh, he, he got the he got a nine point oh rating. It was excellent, and again, Cowley flying. Um, Farsley, now this was a disappointing one because two 0 up after ten minutes. Farsley, I think, a bottom of the league. I should really know. The the second bottom, but I think they were bottom of the league at the time. Um, and to be two 0 up, and then. It's not like they, they dramatically sort of pegged us back. It was the 35th and 47th minutes. So there was still plenty of time for us to go and win the game. But the second half just fizzled out. And we, we couldn't find the same intensity and the same rhythm. So that was a disappointing result. That was that was two points dropped, really. Um, not really an excuse. But positives, another two goals for Jason Cowley. Um, we seem to have found found a way to get him involved um, in, in, the, in the goals. 1-0 um, against Brackley. Cowley again with that sort of second half goal. We really seem to find our scoring boots in the second half. I don't know what that is. Um, I can't imagine that we're fitter than, than than other teams per se because we don't have better facilities or anything like that. But maybe it's just the way that we play that we finally sort of um, we're patient and then we, we press at the right times and sustain that pressure and in those last 20 minutes or when the mistakes start happening and we, we capitalise. I don't care um, as long as we're doing it. So another good win. Gloucester was, well, I don't describe it. It wasn't a damn squib because actually you can see we played really well, um, or you know the bulk of the bulk of the team, but especially at the back, we weren't under huge pressure. But it just just cancelled each other out. There were a couple of chances either side, but it was a sort of tactical uh, defences on top game, um, and it was a little bit disappointing. But after some of the some of the games recently where you know three four five two one five nil keeping a clean sheet is sort of almost as important to me now after after the runs we had earlier where we were struggling to score and, and we were shipping goals so 
not the worst result. Uh, and then we finished that up. Brings us to today with with the uh, away win against against Blythe two nil. Um, Chris late on the score sheet, which was nice because he's been struggling a little bit, uh, not taking his chances. Uh, and Jason Cowley yet again. I don't know. He's on a good amount of goals this season now. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, twenty three. He's on twenty three goals this season in, in in all competitions. Eighteen in the league. So considering we were struggling to get any form or at least goal scoring form out of him earlier in the season. You really can't sniff at that, and there's still two months of the season to go. Anyway, today we go into um, a tough game against Chester. They're, they're in 13th. It's one of those dangerous positions because I don't quite know what to make of them. Um, they're around here. Playoffs are probably too far. They're safe from relegation. Do they have much to play for? I mean, I don't know. There's still two months left, so I suppose you can't say no. Um, but what what's good for us is that we're well in the playoffs, you know this this is this is all gone but it would be nice to sort of extend this gap a little bit more let's crack on into let's let's catch Geisley Gateshead maybe kiddy up try and sort of really solidify us, ourselves in there so that if we do have a little bit of a wobble we're not worrying about dropping out of the playoffs because I think we we have to just say that this this is anything anything outside of the playoffs now would be a disappointment we we want we need to finish there now um the only concerns that we've got, um, Will Callaghan out for a good amount of time, torn hamstring, um, three weeks and two months, he's already been out for a few weeks. And then I think it was the very next game, Rashid, who's obviously usually the the, the, the backup on the left side, tore his thigh muscle. So he's eight weeks and, and three months, he's, he's been out, he's going to be out even longer. So we are struggling on, on that left-hand side. Um, Ed, it brings Edson Prater back into the fold a little bit. He's obviously been sort of the forgotten man, not really been playing at all. Um, Welter Silver, maybe a little bit unlucky to miss out. He's been playing on the right-hand side. He's not really familiar with this sort of withdrawn role. He prefers to be advanced or, or up front, but he's been doing really well. But Kachosa, you've seen that he's been, been in good goal-scoring form. So, you know, two good options there. And to be fair, Prat has come in and has done a, a good job in the last few games on the left-hand side. He hasn't necessarily got himself on the score sheet or involved too much in the in the things that give you the stats but he's been playing he's been playing well so um reasonably happy i think the um just before this we were looking at it's it's coming towards that time where we need to think about renewing contracts um but at this level it's all a lot of it's one year contracts so every a lot of people are expiring a lot of players expiring in, in june um and we're struggling financially despite the sort of half decent cup runs the money is still going down we are considerably over budget that's uh, that's my bad but i don't think that's really contributing to this massively if we were you know 600 pound less off in the wage budget that's not what's killing us losing you know thousands uh, every month so those contract renewals are looking like a struggle we're not paying any particular player ridiculous amounts of money or anything like that but i think if we can get into those playoffs and Maybe maybe if we can get up, that that'll that'll help. That uh, who knows? But um, yeah, we need to make the best of the season. I think because it's going to be a tough one next year with, um, with the budgets. I think so. So this is what we're going with. Um, it's a pretty familiar team. Back four is pretty much the same. I've put Elliot Day in for Luke Ward. I have had start start to get a few little grumbles from a few, from a couple of players. Elliot Day being one of them. Um, just just uh, Charlie Horton was the other one I think with regards to game time and, and it's fair enough they, they are sort of good enough to be involved um, it's always difficult to rotate your centre-backs isn't it when you when you need to sort of carry on a good one but whenever he's come in for, for Ward or Wood um, for injuries or fitness he's always done well um, Luke Ward needs a, a rest anyway his fitness looks fine but it, it, there has been some sort of mentions of fatigue so Give him some time off, um, and that's about the only change really. We've mentioned Prat already. The rest is um, is pretty much as you've seen it. So let's hope for another three points today, guys. Here we go, then, guys. Back at the VG. Hope for another another good result. Hopefully, we can continue the form back on the channel because a lot of it's been been off of it. Looks like a decent crowd. That's something I wanted to check actually. See how the see how the attendances are doing. Um, when we checked way back at earlier in the season, they they were a lot better than last year as you would expect so hopefully the good runner form has, has brought a few extra fans in um, 
and certainly a playoff finish would uh, would help with that. Got a throw in deep into their half. Ezweli is on that. Late wins a corner. I think we scored from a corner last time. We were on the channel. Let's hope for here. Prata puts it in. No one really attacking that, and that's way too much room for them to run onto. Threads it through for Nash. Lashes it wide. A little bit lucky there, though. That was passive defending. Not, not, not really happy with that. I'm going to, have to keep an eye on, on how that happened there. But we don't need to worry. If the first half isn't great, we know we'll come good in the second half. Here's Mulders, carries it into the box, gets nothing, but Woods passes to him. Can he find a cross? Can someone find a cross? Someone cross the ball. Oh, it's been done by this lad here. Into Nash, good block. Stayed with him well. It's too easy for them to break out there, though. Can we make a break of our own? Chris Lake's pulled out over onto the left-hand side. He does need some help, though. They've got numbers back, haven't they? Woods to Mulders and now Kachosa into the box. Hits one. Just wide. It's not been great, this, has it? It's been fairly sort of slow paced whenever the highlights have been on, anyway. Nothing too exciting has happened. Here we've got another one, though. Here's Late. Drives into the box. I mentioned been struggling for finishing. That's pretty much what it's been like. We're getting to getting into decent positions. He keeps doing that, and then it's, the finishing has been been poor. I don't know if it's a confidence thing or or what, but it's it's a shame because at the start of the season he was the one that was that was finding the goals. Um, and it's not like his opportunities have have lessened per se. Cowley's obviously a little bit more advanced. He's in those positions more, but he's putting them away now. Whereas late is not good cross in. Straight at the keeper. Plenty of half chances, isn't there, really, for both sides? But nothing, nothing really that's much to shout about. That is a little bit like the weather in the game. It's just grey and drizzle, and nothing much to shout about. Um, yeah, I think maybe this, maybe this sums it up. Maybe, maybe they need a little bit of a kick because it does seem complacent. Woods to Wood. Late plays it forward, and that's a little bit better, a little bit more fast paced. Kachosa's cross is blocked, and it's out for a throw. I mean, it's nothing even to show, is it? Get a little bit excited every time we get a highlight, and it's all a little bit sleepy, a little bit drab. We are going to have to make a change soon because the game's in danger of just drifting away from us. Woods with the free kick, hits it well. It's a good save from the keeper. And then Cowley runs it out of play because, well, yeah. Ah, right. Well, let's see what's going to happen here. Deep free kick that David Pop put to Cowley. It's cleared. Nash, Nash, their two centre backs have caused us a few problems. They're coming deep and, and picking the ball up in those gaps. But we've won it back. Now late with a driving run. This is what we need. Cowley's in the in the gap there, and he's gone alone and done that. So that's that's exceptional, wonderful. It's in too much. That I don't usually like the work of the ball into box. And I think it slows things down a little bit. But we do need to be a little bit more. It sounds silly because I'm saying patient when we've I've been complaining about the the pace of the game. But um, I just think we're being a little bit ponderous and then we're getting balls into there and, and it's it's almost lazy and we're just we're just shooting and I think let's drop this be a little bit more compact as a unit um Kuchos is on a, on a card and he's not playing particularly well I'll bring De Silva on and see if he can uh, spark things up a little bit it'd be nice to just create I think if we can create just one or two proper chances not not shots from 30 yards when they're not really on. We're in real danger of this being an absolutely terrible game to put on the channel. After some really good form, this is really disappointing. 
we're not really creating anything are we I think let's change that let's get Mulder's folder just a little bit um, Charlie Horn, a bit of game time. Defensively, we seem to be fine. They've caused us a few problems with the. Look like they've got a decent amount of pace at centre forwards, but we've dealt with it well enough. But going forward, really created very little. It's going to just be nil nil, isn't it? Well, I'm sorry about that guys, that was absolutely rubbish. That's one of the most dull <laughs> games I think I've had since this save started. Um, we said it might be tricky, they're one of those bang mid-table sides that are not likely to go up or down in terms of where they finish very much, a couple of places here and there, it's nothing meaningful. Um, and we looked a little bit like that as well, which is a shame because obviously there really is something at stake for us. There's, there's plenty of time to go, but you know, another few games and we are really talking about the business end. Um, and I don't really want to be chasing a position in the playoffs. Now that they're there, um, we, we need to make that our own. And that's, it didn't seem like they had the, the uh, uh, golfing quality or anything like that. Um, we were just poor. We weren't at it, I think. Um, hmm. I don't know, rubbish. So let's see how the teams around us did. Hereford lost to Alfreton who are down at the bottom, so that's good news for us. It means that we haven't been punished too much for dropping points there. Um, still a five point gap to the teams above us, so we have, we're gonna have, have our work cut out to catch them, but there is, as I say, plenty of time. Um, and I think we've still got that bit of a bit of breathing space where we can keep that, but it'd be nice to just push up into the next couple of positions and, and get a better um you know a, a better draw for the for the playoffs if we can hang in there anyway it's not a loss is it it's nil nil it was a really really dull game um phew, worst one i could possibly imagine to put on the channel i don't think i don't think this is going to do the channel any favors in terms of viewers and whatever but anyway um whilst this whilst this moves on um few things few things to mention um I touched on it last time. We do want to get into a into a regular recording uh, schedule on the channel, both both Scott and I, um, and I get a couple of couple of videos out to you guys uh, per week, usually during the week, um, for the for these sort of main series. Um, hopefully, this week um, we'll start our sort of first sort of side series, if you like, where it's going to be uh, both of us and a couple of uh, I suppose guest bears. Uh, just discussing and having some having, having a bash at some predictions for each week of the Premier League now that that's back. Uh, it's something we wanted to start last week, but schedules didn't match up and we, we just couldn't get it done in time. So we're going to gonna crack on with that at some point this week and we'll get that out to you, hopefully prior to any of the uh, any of the Prem games. Don't expect well-researched, well-thought-out logical arguments for, this, for these picks like you'll see on a lot of other channels. This is gut hunches with very little um basis for for the information so don't go don't go following these predictions for for, for, for gambling or anything like that um it really will just be us uh, sat around uh, talking rubbish really which hopefully we can have a little bit of fun with and, and maybe get some community involvement as well uh if you if you guys enjoy it um, a few other ideas as well but it'd be nice to hear from you guys what you want to see um as the series develop, it's um, we've mentioned before. I'd like to have some some sort of mini series, you know, FM related specifically. Uh, maybe it may be a network game. Do you want to see other series of, of solo stuff, but with other teams, different types of saves? Um, we've got we've got ideas for draft modes and sort of little mini draft tournaments and all, all sorts of things like that. Um, but it'd be really interesting to see what you you guys want to see to to complement these non league saves. So. As always, if you enjoyed the video and if you enjoyed the series, please do like, subscribe, hit that notification bell as well so that you don't miss any of this new content that, I'm, uh, that I've mentioned. And let us know in the comments what sort of thing you want to see, any specific teams even that, you, that you'd like to see us manage. Um, it's all, all good fun. I've got some ideas, but um, I'm, I'm completely open to 
to, to what we do next. So, um, yeah, do please let us know. And uh, other than that, I'll see you next time. Cheers, guys. Thank you.